Lately, people are earning tens of thousands of dollars with the TikTok creativity program. For the people that don't know, this is TikTok's answer to YouTube Shorts. Creators are able to earn up to $1 per 1,000 views for videos longer than one minute. And with faceless videos getting millions of views, it's no surprise people are earning tens of thousands of dollars. That's why I decided to dive deep into TikTok and I managed to find a faceless niche that is getting millions of views. This faceless TikTok account in this niche got over 16 million views last month, which would mean that they have earned around $16,000 in a single month. And here, another account creating the exact same videos got a video with 4 million views just a couple of days ago. Or this account also creating the exact same videos they posted their first video only 15 days ago, and they already managed to get 2 million views in total. They all use AI to create their scripts, the voiceover, and captions. So you are probably wondering, what's this so-called niche you are talking about? Well, that's what you are going to find out, because in this video, I'm going to show you how to make SpongeBob Talking Fish News Videos. Hold on, I know what you are thinking. What the f is this guy talking about? Let me explain. So these channels are creating the latest news videos, and they let the news fish reporter from SpongeBob do the talking. Let's take a look at an example. Breaking news! If you are a T-Mobile customer, it is important for you to pay attention to this information. T-Mobile is planning to raise the phone bills of all its customers by a significant amount. This decision came to light when an internal document from T-Mobile was leaked, revealing that every T-Mobile store across the country will be affected. And these videos are literally getting millions of views. So in this video, I will show you how to animate the talking character, how to clone the voice using AI, how to let ChatGPT write your scripts, and how to put everything together. And the beauty is that once you have everything set up, you can create these videos in a matter of minutes. So let's begin. To start you will, of course, need a video of the talking SpongeBob news fish. And there are two methods to achieve this. The first one is to simply go to YouTube and search for SpongeBob news fish green screen. Then look for a green screen version video of the news fish. You then want to download this video with a YouTube to MP4 converter. For the editing of these videos, I will be using CapCut. This is a great free editing software. However, the exact same steps apply to every other video editing software. Simply upload the video and drag it onto the timeline. In this video, there are multiple versions of the news fish. So choose the version of the news fish you like and trim the video so you will only be left with that one. Kind of like choosing which of your personalities to present at family gatherings. The next step is to remove the green background from this video. To do this you want to go to cutout in the top right corner and enable the chroma key function. Then use the color picker to select the green background color. Increase the strength until the green color disappears and you will be left with only the talking fish animation. Simply copy and paste this video a couple of times so it's long enough and this step is done. However, I want to show you an even better way. And I strongly recommend you watch this part of the video because if you understand this method, you can create much more amazing talking animations which will give you a big competitive advantage. Start by searching for an image of the character you want to animate. In this case, the news fish. Now download this image. For the next step, you want to use a program like Photoshop. However, if you're just like me, and your ex dumped you and took all your money, you could also use Photopea. This is a free version of Photoshop you can use in your browser. Here you want to upload the image. Now we are going to cut out the character from this image. You have a couple of different methods, but the easiest is to use the magic wand tool. Simply select the areas you want to remove and delete them from the image. When you have most parts deleted, you want to switch to the lasso select tool and roughly trace around your character to delete the rest of the image you are not going to use. I always recommend manually cleaning up the image a little bit after this step. And now the fun part begins. You now want to make a separate element of the part of the image you want to animate. In this case, the mouth of the fish. To do this, you simply trace around the mouth of the fish with the lasso select tool then simply press Ctrl-C and Ctrl-V 
and on the right side, you will then see this part of the image appear as a separate element, also known as a layer. Now search for the Rotate tool and place this element in its closed position. Then use the Transform Warp tool to enlarge this part a bit, so it fits nicely onto your character. And for the last step, you will need to remove the original mouth from the fish in the background layer. Again use the Lasso Select tool for this and press Backspace. You now have two separate elements you can start to animate. Simply export each element separately by disabling the visibility of one and export it as a PNG file. Now upload these images into your editing software. Again, drag them onto the timeline and place them on top of each other. We are going to make short form content for either TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts. So you will have to set the aspect ratio to nine by 16. Now enlarge these images and place them at the bottom of the screen. Next, you want to crop the image you are going to animate. Now resize this image so it fits nicely onto your character again. So now we are going to add movement to this element. And I'm going to use the rotate function for this. Drag the timing bar to the start of the video and add a keyframe at position and size. This will lock the position of this element at this place in the video. Now move the timing bar a little bit further onto the timeline. Now you can change the placement of this element and CapCut is automatically going to add another keyframe and therefore save this position at this point in the video. So you simply want to repeat these steps a couple of times. Just play the video and open or close the mouth. Once you have done this a couple of times you can then again copy this element and paste it until it covers the entire video. And you will be left with your own animated talking character. So why am I showing you this method? Well, maybe you have a great idea for a character that doesn't have a talking green screen video. Or you want to add other moving elements. This way you have much more creative freedom, which will give you a big competitive advantage. Now to complete this step you also want to add a background image. Let's search for SpongeBob background and pick one that matches our scene. Again download the image and upload it in CapCut. Stretch it so it covers the entire video. Like how my ex stretched the truth about working late to cover her cheating. And this step is done. The next step, and probably the most important one is the voice. We are going to clone the news fish voice. For this, we are going to need a sound sample of the fish speaking. So let's go to YouTube and search for SpongeBob news fish voice. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! That's perfect. Again, let's download this video, however. This time, I only need the sound so I will use an MP3 converter instead of an MP4 converter. For the voice cloning, I highly recommend you use Eleven Labs. I have put the link to Eleven Labs in the description of this video. If you use this link, you can sign up for a free plan which gives you 20 minutes of voice generation each month. Now select it voice and use the instant voice cloning feature. With this feature, you will only need a one minute sample of a voice and Eleven Labs is able to instantly clone this. Absolutely mind blowing. So upload the MP3 file you just downloaded, give the voice a name and select add voice. And within a few seconds, you have a perfect clone of the SpongeBob Newsfish voice. So here you will input the script. And to generate the script, we are going to use ChatGPT and Google News. With Google News, you can search for the latest news worldwide. You can also categorize it making it perfect for this application. My guess is that these videos are mostly watched by people that have grown up with SpongeBob. So they will be somewhere around 15 to 30 years old. Therefore, I would look for topics that this kind of audience would be interested in. For instance, in the entertainment category. These are also topics with a lot of drama, which always has great potential to go viral. For instance, this one about someone who murdered her mother. These topics are exactly like my ex. It's very dark and sad, but it sells. All right, that was the last my ex joke, I promise. Next, you want to simply scroll to this page and look for articles that match your criteria. Just like how my ex scrolled through Tinder for someone who matched her criteria for just a friend. All right, all right, that really was the last one. This one about Kevin Hart, who is suing some YouTuber 
definitely sounds like something my audience would be interested in. So let's open this article. Next, go back to ChatGPT and insert this prompt. This prompt instructs ChatGPT to summarize the article so it's between 1,000 and 1,300 characters long. This way the video will be just over one minute, which is the exact length you want to pursue. It's also instructing it to write a powerful hook to grab the attention of the viewers and to write it in simple English so it's easy to understand. Next, you want to go back to the article and start copy and pasting the text in the ChatGPT prompt. Once you have the entire article in the prompt, hit enter and ChatGPT will produce a perfect script you can input in 11 labs to create the voiceover. So let's copy the script, paste it in 11 labs and hit generate. Once the voiceover is generated, select download. You then want to upload this voiceover into CapCut. And for these particular videos, you also want to have the breaking news part at the beginning of every video. So I will also upload the original source audio. Let's place this one first on the timeline and cut off the breaking news part. Now place the generated voiceover on the timeline as well. And let's have a listen. Breaking news! Comedian Kevin Hart is suing YouTuber Tasha K for extortion. That's perfect. Next, you want to add a couple of relevant images to the story. Just imagine you are making a lovely collage. This actually reminds me of the time when I made a collage for my mom in elementary school. Except this time, she would probably want to see it. Simply go to the article and see if there are images in that article or search on Google for relevant images related to the story. Once you have gathered a couple of relevant images, go back to CapCut and upload them. Drag one image on top of the other layers. Make it a bit smaller and place it a little bit more towards the top of the screen. I recommend you also use an animation effect for the image to make the video even more engaging. To do this, you want to go to animation in the top right corner and select one you like. Simply repeat these steps until you have all images incorporated in your video. Once you are done, select export in the top right corner, give the video a name, and hit export again. Now for the last step, we will have to add these engaging captions. This is extremely important because a lot of people watch short form content with the sound off. And when you add captions, these people will also continue watching. Besides that, captions also add more motion to the video making it even more engaging which will result in more views. And for these videos, you will need to add these SpongeBob style captions. I'm going to use Submagic for this. Submagic is an editing software specialized in editing short form content and they have an AI powered caption generator built in. And here you can also upload your own fonts, which is exactly what we need because there is no program with SpongeBob captions built in. What a surprise. I have put a link to Submagic in the description of this video. If you use this link, you can try some magic out for free and I even managed to get a discount code which will get you 10% off for the paid plans. Simply upload your video, select one of the 50 languages, and select upload. And within a couple of seconds, some magic has generated very impressive captions. However, I want to have them in SpongeBob style. To do this, I'm going to select one of the pre-made themes that matches most with the style that I'm going for, in this case, the Ella captions and select edit. And here you can then upload your own font. So I'm simply going to Google and search for SpongeBob font. This one looks about right. So let's download this one and go back to Submagic. I'm now going to select upload your own font and upload the font I just downloaded. That's beginning to look more like it. I'm also going to change the color to something that suits this font better. I will disable the shadow effect and put the stroke which is the outline to medium. I'm also going to change the stroke color to something that matches the green color of the captions a little bit better. Lastly, I will put the display of the words to one word. This will display the words one by one and place the captions a little bit more towards the center. Now let's give these caption settings a name and select create theme. And I'm done. Now let's have a look at the final result. Breaking news! Comedian Kevin Hart is suing YouTuber Tasha K for extortion, igniting a fiery legal showdown. 
The controversy erupted from an interview with Hart's former assistant, Misha Shakes, who unleashed scandalous accusations, claiming Hart, aged 44, was unfaithful to his wife, Eniku Parrish, and had a gambling addiction. This is looking absolutely perfect. And keep in mind that once you have your talking character made, your voice cloned, and the caption settings dialed in, it's just a matter of putting the article in ChatGPT, generating the voice, adding this to CapCut with some images, and creating the captions. You can create these videos faster than my mom asking when are you getting a real job the minute I walk through her front door. But I highly recommend that you be creative and add your own value to these videos. If you do this correctly, you are much more likely to succeed. That's why I showed you how to make your own talking characters. I have put the links to all tools used, with even some discount codes, in the description of this video. So if you want to test out this method use these to get started. And if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and until next time.